My dear JE Warriors, there is a very critical update regarding the JE Mains 2026 registrations. And with proof, I will tell you why and how much the difficulty will be. So stay tuned till the very end because a very crisp short video and also detailed analysis which will not only open your eyes but also push you towards working hard. And if you have forgotten to like the video, please like it right away right now. So let me give you some stats. What happens is when the number of registrations or the number of students appearing increases, the cutoff percentiles naturally increase. Like in 2020, couple of years back, the percentiles for cutoff used to be like 88, 89, 90, like that. And now, in fast forward to 2025, 2024, the percentiles are reaching 93 percentile cutoff because back in the day there were hardly 10 lakh, 9 lakh, 11 lakh students, and now it has come down to 15 lakh students and above. And this year, the registration count is well, right over here. The article was published today. Yesterday, the registrations closed at 9 o'clock. But the interesting part is, by 7 o'clock, the number of registrations were 14 and a half lakh. Just one day before, the registrations were 13 point something lakhs. And in one day, the registration count increased by almost a lakh. And also, this was just by 7 o'clock. This kept on increasing and many students kept on signing up even until the last moment that is nine o'clock so it is quite possible that this number would have touched 15 lakhs or at least nearby that number what this means for you and by the way how did this number come because official notice did not come but you can look at the registration application id number from that you get to know how many applications have been submitted now, why is this important? Sir, last year, uh, it was 15.5 lakhs. No, sir. What you should pay attention to is the unique candidates. So, that is very, very important. So, if you see the last year data, the last year data, I think it was around 14 point something lakhs. Okay, it is not over here. But yeah, it was around 14 point something lakhs, which means this year already we have crossed that number. And for April attempt, there will be many candidates who will be writing it for the first time. Many students who will write it for the first time. So the number of unique candidates is definitely crossing 15 lakh in 2026. Last year, that number was a lakh less. So that means the number of students appearing for this exam has gone up. And if it breaches unique candidates breaches 15 lakhs, obviously this percentile might also go up to 93.5 percentile also or 93.9 or even close to 94 percentile. So it depends on how many more students will appear extra for the April attempt. Is this first point clear? Give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the Vedantu J English channel. Yes, this is your J English channel and it is the number one English channel. All right. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. This is the first point. Next point is whenever the paper level is easy to average, questions are solvable overall perception if it is like that, then for the same percentile, say for example, 99 percentile, you will have to score very good marks like 210, 220, 200, like that. Okay? So, this is just an example. But if the same paper becomes difficult, what happens is for the same percentile, you will have to get less marks. Meaning, for the same 99 percentile, instead of 210 marks, you might just need 170 marks. So, that is the inverse relationship. So, don't get scared. If the paper is very difficult and you are getting, say for example, 180 marks, maybe you will definitely cross 99 percentile. And when you are giving mock tests also, keep that in mind, the difficulty of that paper set matters. Also, what matters is who was there in your shift because remember, the percentiles are always normalized 
and for shift to shift basis. All right. So this is the second point. So definitely the paper level, if it is going to be difficult for the same percentiles, you will see lower cutoffs, lower marking scores and ranges. Now, why will this happen? That is very important. Whenever the paper is easy and more registrations are there, then many kids will get very good marks. This is what happened in NEET exam in 2024, where there were so many students who got out of marks and hundreds of students in the topper range. This re hampered the reputation of NTA. NTA got lot and lot of backlash. And this is what NTA did not like. And next year, they made the paper difficult, which normalized and brought down the scores. The same also happened in J2025. So there will be many students with top scores, many students with the same scores and too many people with very, very high scores or even out of scores, which will bring down the reputation and credibility of the exam conducted by NTA. So to in order to maintain that credibility, to maintain a standard, what NTA will do, it is very natural. They have no other option but to, uh, you know, maintain their credibility and to maintain the level of examination, right? They will have to make the paper level moderate to difficult. There are more registrations confirmed. So the difficulty will have to increase. And this means fewer number of conflicts. That means many students with the same marks that will not happen in the top range. Okay. And there will be very few students with very high scores like 250 plus, 280 plus, 270 plus or even 200 plus. You will not find many, many kids. Earlier, what used to happen? Many kids were there. So that number can reduce. And if you talk about subject-wise difficulty, how NTA will play the game? Maths, moderate to difficult questions with some tricky questions, some lengthy questions, some manipulation questions. And if you see in maths, the topics which get repeated, the models of the questions which get repeated are less. Every time there are unique questions with unique methods or very rare cases are also being taken into the question paper setting. So you will have to practice a lot of variety and there is no guarantee that the same type of questions can come in maths. But in physics, there are many questions which get repeated in the manner in which they are asked. And there are many statement and assertion based questions. Very few tricky questions will be there. But yes, the paper level will be moderate. Okay, there will be some very few difficult questions. Easy questions will also be there, but not so many. So expect the paper to be average then. Chemistry will feel easier out of all the three. Yes, but the questions will still be moderate level. Some of them at least. And there will be many NCRT based questions. Equal distribution is what you should expect. Do not think inorganic will not be asked or I can leave physical or I can leave organic. Okay, that will be a big blunder. No, no to that. And many models of questions do get repeated even in chemistry, just like in physics. But the questions which get repeated are of lower difficulty level. That is something which you should keep in mind. So what you should be doing in the next couple of days and what we are doing to tackle these problems. First of all, there are morning classes which are going to be scheduled from this Monday onwards for maybe around 45 minutes to 60 minutes, rapid question practice with very important high frequency must do questions chapter wise will start with highest weighted sequentially physics, chemistry, maths all six days and class 11 backlogs if you have and you want to study a chapter in detail, the 11 standard chapters are being taught on YouTube. Okay, with theory, concept, questions and PYQs, attend those classes. And class 12th marathons for whether it is questions or revisions or, you know, the theory concept or a combination, they are coming next week very, very soon. So stay tuned on the channel, my dear warriors. Yes, this was the official notice. As of now, the correction window, all right, will also open up. So make sure you are checking this particular link. And if some details have to be corrected, please do that, okay, in your application form. And stay tuned on the Vedantu J English channel because. Five, uh, 6 o'clock Monday onwards, we are going to start with the live classes. You need to stay subscribed or else you will miss it. These are very important problem solving classes. Just tell me that you are going to wake up. If you are ready to accept this difficulty challenge, then please tell me in the comment section. All right. Thank you so much, guys. This was your Captain Shreyas signing off.